Hey guys, welcome to the 15th lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushri Kariski and today we're going to study about sharpening spatial filters. The principal objective of sharpening is to highlight transitions in intensity. Applications of image sharpening include electronic printing, medical imaging, industrial inspection and autonomous guidance in military systems. Now in the previous videos, we had learned smoothing spatial filters. Right? And smoothening is somewhat equal to blurring. What we had done there is that, suppose if we have an image here, okay, this is our original image and we had mask. So uh, we had the mean filter mask, the box filter mask, which is also called the mean filter mask. And then we had other filters. So we had our original image here and we had done pixel averaging which means that on each of these pixel values, suppose if this is divided into pixels, then on each of these pixel values, we had taken the average of the surrounding and the center pixel. So just imagine if this pixel, we are considering the center pixel, then we had a mask here, okay? And we had taken the average of all of these values. And then we had substituted that value in the center pixel. So when you do this operation on the original image, then you get an image which looks something like this. Now here we have an image after four iterations of 21 by 21 box filter. Okay, so this is what it looks. So as you can see, the edges here in the original image have become blurred in this image, right? So this is known uh, as blurring of the image and this is accomplished with the help of pixel averaging now we understood that if pixel averaging applied on each of these pixels can fetch us this blurred image how do we reverse the process that is how do we sharpen the image now if you look at this operation if we go deeper okay what are we doing here we are taking the sum of all of these pixel values and then we are taking the average of it. That is, we are dividing it by total. Okay, and like that, we are doing on all of these pixel values, right? On all of these. So, taking the sum, which means that it is comparable to integration, right? Integration is what? Taking, uh, taking the total of it, right? So, if integration can fetch us a blurred image, then what do we do for sharpening an image? What do we do for reversing it? We do differentiation. So that's why for sharpening, we use spatial differentiation. Now the strength of the response of a derivative operator is proportional to the degree of intensity discontinuity of the image at the point at which the operator is applied. Let's understand this with the help of our previous image. So if you look at this image, the degree of intensity discontinuity, which means that a rapid change in intensity. Okay, if you see towards the edges, there's a rapid change of intensity. Okay, from lower to higher, right? So the degree of the derivative operator would be higher towards these edges okay but it wouldn't have much impact on these sides over here where there is less intensity discontinuity okay so that is what that point means next therefore image differentiation enhances edges and other discontinuities such as noise and de-emphasizes areas which have slowly varying intensities so exactly what i explained with the help of the image now we have foundation of sharpening filters. I know you don't like looking at formulas, but these ones are important because they will be used to derive other important formulas. So the first one is first order derivative of a one dimensional function f of x. The formula for which is dou f by dou x is equal to f of x plus one minus f of x. Second one is second order derivative of a one dimensional function f of x. 
the formula for which is dou square f by dou x square is equal to f of x plus 1 plus f of x minus 1 minus 2 f of x. Now please note down these formulas because these are important. Laplacian filter. It highlights gray level discontinuities in an image and it de-emphasizes regions with slowly varying gray levels. The formula for this is delta square f is equal to dou square f by dou x square plus dou square f by dou y square. Now the formula for second derivative which we had looked at was for one dimensional function which is f of x. But here we are using a two dimensional function which is f of x comma y. That's why we will change the formula for this accordingly. So here we have dou square f by dou x square is equal to f of x plus 1 comma y plus f of x minus 1 comma y minus 2 f of x comma y. Similarly for dou square f by dou y square we have f of x comma y plus 1 plus f of x comma y minus 1 minus 2 f of x comma y. Now when we substitute these two formulas in this equation then we get this. So this is our final formula for Laplacian filter and using this formula we can get the Laplacian mask. How is that? Usually when we use the mask we use it to convolute with the input image. So if this is our input image okay then let's look at this particular term here okay this is minus 4 into f of x comma y now f of x comma y is over here at the center pixel right so that's why minus 4 we write at the center pixel of the mask okay so let me write it down below over here minus 4 for the center pixel and for all of these values for all of these pixel values we'll take the coefficients of them which is 1 and we will substitute at the corresponding pixel values. So we write it over here and then for the other values we write 0. So this we got as our first Laplacian mask. Now this and this both of them are similar okay they will fetch you similar results. Similarly this is also a Laplacian mask both of these will fetch you similar results or same results. One important point to note here is that when you take the sum of each of these pixel values, it is always equal to 0 for Laplacian filter. So for this case, for this, all of these cases, you will get the total sum as 0. Now let's try solving a question. Apply Laplacian filter on the given image on the center pixel. So if this is our image, this is our input image, we can use any mask, right? So we'll just convolute this with 0, 1, 0, 1, minus 4, 1, 0, 1, 0, okay? So this is our mask. So on convolution, what we'll get is that if this is, let me just draw the boundaries for these. Now on convolution, what we do? 8 into 0 plus 5 into 1 plus 4 into 0. We just keep on multiplying corresponding values plus 6 into minus 4 plus 2 into 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into 1 sorry 3 into 1 plus 7 into 0 okay so our final value would be 0 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 minus 24 plus 2 plus 0 plus 3 plus 0 
so this would come out to be 10 minus 24 right which would be minus 14 now this value minus 14 we just substitute in place of this 6 and that would fetch us the final answer next we have enhanced Laplacian filter so here the only difference is that if this is our Laplacian mask then the center pixel we just add 1 to it okay we just increment it by 1 so when this is enhanced we we'll get this as our new mask similarly if this is our mask if this is our Laplacian mask then when we enhance it this will be our new mask now let's look at a question here apply enhanced Laplacian filter on the given image on the center pixel so this is our center pixel now we can use any of the above uh, enhanced Laplacian filters let's try using this one so it will be 1 1 1 1 minus 9 1 and 1 1 1 Now for this, we'll get the answer as 8 into 1, which is 8, plus 5 into 1, plus 4 into 1, plus 0 into 1, minus 54, plus 2, plus 1, plus 3, plus 7, correct? So for this, our answer would be 30 minus 54, which is minus 24. So this pixel value, we will substitute instead of this center value. And that would be our final answer. Now let's look at one more question here. Apply Laplacian filter on the given image. So we have this pretty huge image here and we have to apply the mask, the ablation mask on this image. Now we cannot directly apply it because they haven't given that apply it on a certain pixel or the center pixel or anything like that, right? Neither have they mentioned uh, what we have to do about the edges, okay? They haven't mentioned if we have to do pixel replication or zero padding or wrapping of pixels. So here, um, since nothing is mentioned in the question, let's just do pixel replication, okay? So for the edges, we'll replicate the pixels. So we'll just write down the same pixels. Now this is important because you cannot just ignore the elements at the pixel. When we apply the mask, especially on the corner elements, then it is important that we get a proper output image. So that's why we'll do pixel replication. Now let's apply the mask. First we'll apply it on this. Uh, let's assume the origin as the center because nothing is given about the origin as well in the question. So if the center is the origin, then we'll place the center pixel on top of this. So just imagine that you're placing this mask on top of this. So first we place it over here. Okay. Such that all of these elements coincide with these. And then we have to multiply them. See here we have 1, 1, 1, 1 minus 8 1 1 1 1 okay so to make the multiplication easier what we'll do is we'll just take all the 50s first okay so suppose we have 50 into how many 50s are there 1 2 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 we'll not consider the center one because that is minus 8 
so 50 into 8 minus 50 into 8 now we'll consider the center pixel so 50 into 8 okay so this will fetch us 0 so that's why we write 0 here now we we'll move the mask to the next position so we place it here okay again since all of these are 50 so we we'll again get the answer as 0 next we we'll move the mask one place forward and we have to keep doing the same procedure so 50 how many 50s 1 2 3 4 5 into 5 plus how many hundreds 3 minus the center element sorry the center element here which is 50 so minus 50 into 8 so this will give us 450 plus 300 minus 400 so we'll get the answer as 150 okay so similarly we have to keep doing this okay now we'll move it one place forward so this will become our center element and this will be our matrix okay and when we do this we'll get the answer as 50 into 1 2 3 3 times plus 100 into 1 2 3 4 5 so every time we just have to not include the center element first while adding so these are 5 and then we we'll subtract it 8 into the center element so this will give us 400 150 plus 500 minus 400 so this will again give us minus 150 okay so when we keep doing this okay once we reach the end till here and then we have to shift it downwards so the next thing which we'll consider is these set of pixels okay so we have to keep doing this until we get all the results so 0 0 then we got 150 then we got minus 150 so when we keep doing it we get the answers as follows So this will be our output matrix once we are done with all of these calculations. Okay, that was it for the lecture. I will see you in the next one.